Here, this is David, who says, We have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year, and the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. So all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. <laughs> but the so birth the of Jesus. But the intent of the heart is what it's e about. Exactly. <laughs> so we have Christianized all these things. We give gifts in the name of Jesus. We celebrate his birthday. And uh, it's a nice thing. Boy, if you don't get... Moses lifted Israel up. And Nimrod came and broke the civilization of Moses. That's right. Nimrod is who you really celebrating on the 25th day of December. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are, you're making a mockery of it. You drink more alcohol on his birthday than any other day in the year. And you've turned the so-called birthday of Jesus Christ into a commercial feast of foolishness. Santa Claus has knocked Jesus out of the top spot. And the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness making themselves rich and you poor for another year on the basis of a lie. And that's why they call it X-mus. Because you don't know who it is that you are worshiping. Where did you get this Christmas tree from? What does that have to do with Jesus Christ? And in all your churches, you have this big tree. Look at what Jeremiah the prophet said. It warns you not to follow the way of the heathens. For the heathens go in the forest and they cut down a tree. And they fasten it down and they deck it with silver and gold. Ain't that what you do? Ah, mamma mia. And when you try to tell the Christian that this is a heathen practice, they say, well, I don't care. My father did it. My mother did it. I'm going to still do it. Con Edison can't wait till Christmas comes to con you out of some more money with your lights burning. Who made up this lie and forced it on the church?